but nothing's being taught with regards to any rules about play. Meal times are Anne and Steve's really biggest bad. challenge. So you've got in here the fish pie and the peas. So it's exactly the same what everyone else is having, it's just yeah. pureed. Let's try a little bit on your lips. Just a little bit on your lips. When the twins refuse their mum's cooking, she resorts to processed baby food. Two and a half, and yet she's still giving them baby jars. Steve is a university lecturer, while Anne put her career in the pharmaceutical industry on hold to start a family. I really felt desperately that I wanted kids and I was very worried what was going to happen to me if I didn't have them. When Anne was 38, after a course of IVF, she finally got pregnant. We'd had a lot of disappointment, so I was absolutely thrilled when we had the twins. I didn't know how difficult twins were going to be. Just one year after Aidan and Ella were born, Anne and Steve had some surprising news. I cried. Yeah when they told me. Well, first of all, I, the whole newborn twin thing just went through my head. Expectations, it was worse than we imagined. The, well, first, course, the yeah. first six months to a year of having all, all four of them, I think I've blanked most of it from my memory. <laughs> Older twins, Adam and Ella, fight like cat and dog. <laughs> and Aidan's tantrums drive his mother to distraction. You can't sit there all day. They're nearly five and go to school. But for convenience sake, Anne and Steve keep the older twins in nappies at night. And all four children are still given milk in baby bottles. We're very busy, we're tired, and we didn't want a lot of hassle at night, so, you know, c'est la vie. Come on, fellas, try. <coughs> Just try a little bit, Louis. Louis and Kieran are almost three, but they refuse to eat normal food, even if it's pureed. They just yeah. will not tolerate yeah. sort of solid, normal food. Yeah, they just won't. They have a total aversion to anything new. <laughs> don't, you do not, don't you dare bite me. No, you don't bite. No. Louis. It sounds horrible, but I force feed them sometimes just so they can, you know, just taste it and see if they like it. You've got to try some. You've got to try some. Come on, try. Come on, just try some. That's it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just yeah, try it. I mean, forcing them to try food is, yeah, is, is yeah. distressing, not just for them, but to us. I mean, it's not a nice thing to have to do. What's going on now? <laughs> for Anne, the pressure is constant. With Dad at work, she's home alone with two sets of twins. I feel like a failure a lot of the time because the children are running wild, they're badly behaved. I try my best, but I really don't think I do a very good job at all. I don't feel any, any guilt associated with her being the one who's doing all the horrible bits and me not. I would just like it to change and I would like it to be easier for Annie because it is a very hard job dealing with four young children. You know, it's a real shame you can't go off to university and be taught how to do this. That would be a lot more useful than my PhD in neuroscience. <laughs> Aiden, no! The constant demands of two sets of unruly twins have left Anne and Steve little time for each other. You know, I often feel like a pressure cooker that I'm going to explode, and, and I do with Steve a lot of the time sometimes. I hate that. Biggest fear, splitting up. Mm. Yeah, that would be my the absolute biggest fear that because of this we split up. That would, I mean, it, it would, I mean, that would kill me. Yeah. Yeah, that's my biggest fear too. The arrival of Super Nanny could not come a moment sooner. How are you, Kieran? How are you, Aiden? Bye. Yeah, can I come in? Yeah, come on, let's make space. This is Louie. Hello. Hello, Louie. Hi, Ella. Okay. 
Well, a couple of more kids and you'd be running a day crash. <laughs> <laughs> For now, Super Nanny will simply observe family life. The real work starts tomorrow. So, Steve, who is Louis or Kieran? Uh, let's remember. <laughs> uh, if I'm ever in doubt, I ask Ella. Yeah, Ella knows. Really? Yeah, Ella knows more than I. My words and you're their dad. I know, but they're so similar. They're so similar. No, but I'm hoping they get more different as they grow up. But playing spot the difference is the least of their problems. Aiden, come on, put it down and play nicely. You know, the pair of them are at loggerheads with regards to sharing. <laughs> but nothing's being taught with regards to any rules about play. Mealtimes are Anne and Steve's oh, yeah. biggest challenge. So you've got in here the fish pie and the peas. So it's exactly the same what everyone else is having, it's just yeah. pureed. Let's try a little bit on your lips. Just a little bit on your lips. When the twins refuse their mum's cooking, she resorts to processed baby food. Two and a half, and yet she's still giving them baby jars. They should be eating exactly the same as their parents. You do get tired of the routine. I mean, for me, I get some breaks. Right, OK. You know, work is like my break. Hello. Annie's got the hard bit. She's the one doing, you know, all the cold face stuff, day in, day out. Yeah. You're going to have to hold my hand. I want it, Well, you can't have it. I want it. Anne's lack of authority is not just confined to inside the house. Right, well, let go. <laughs> now, come on, we're walking. Agent, you're bringing your bike. Come on. Good boys, let's go. Why don't you want 25 minutes later, and finally, Mum is ready to leave. Which way should we go? This way. Aidan, in the, on the pavement, please. Yeah. You don't go on the road. Hello, look. Huh. Well, this ain't really panning out very well, is it? Let's face it. I mean, look. And Aidan's over there and they're over here. Come! Quickly! They don't listen. So in order to get the better behaviour from these children, we're going to have to start to see Mum develop some discipline. No. Well, something's got to be done ASAP. No. It's bedtime, and all four children are given milk in baby bottles. Oh, you were checking them out. Right? There's the kids with their bottles. I'm just kind of seeing this vision of, like, the lioness with all of her cubs. Do you see that now as they're getting older? Is there a piece of you that goes, like, where's my babies? Yeah, I, I do. And if I was younger, I might even think, well, you know, in a couple of years' time, I might have some more kids. Hey, stop that, please. Upstairs, Super Nanny wants to find out a bit more about Ella and Aidan's bedtime routine. So, in the middle of the night, when you need to go for a wee wee, where do you go? Where's the bathroom? We've got, still got our nappies on. You've still got your nappies on? <laughs> you wear the nappies in the night time? Yeah. I don't really like wearing it, but... But Mummy says that you have to wear it? Yeah. Right, OK. But you'd rather not wear it. Have you told Mummy that? Yes. What did she say? Um, you have to wear it. You have to wear it? Yeah. I don't want to wear it. You don't want to wear it? OK. Baby. But despite what the kids want, as usual, the nappies go on before bed. Oh, that's certainly the biggest baby I've seen on the baby changing mat. I know. As the day draws to a close, Super Nanny has seen enough. Now, Super Nanny wants to confront Anne and Steve with some harsh realities. Now, let's talk about babies. Bottles, nappies, potties. It's all baby stuff. Yeah. All baby stuff. Yeah. And having children that are nearly five and three, 
there's something very worrying for me when I walk into a house and think, why is the development not moving forward? It's like you're pulling them back. Stay my babies, stay my babies. Don't grow up. I'm trying to make my own life easier because I know what's going to happen when the bottle, we take the bottles away. You know, there's going to be a big fuss. They love their bottles. Love so, the bottle, so, yeah, yeah it's, um, giving, I'm so. trying to keep, you know, I, I just mm. don't want to rock the boat. Quite frankly, it's a no-no. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, I want to say, and they're five and three. They're yes. not babies anymore. Yeah. You're yeah. going to make them think they're babies. They're going to start to behave like babies. They're not little anymore. Make life easy for everyone. Treat them the age they are. Eating has really taken up a lot of focus yeah. and a lot of energy mm. in the house. You know, baby food is not giving them anything. No. The children's delayed speech development is due to the so fact that when they... So do you think it is delayed for two and a half year olds? Yes. Yes, I think it's Ooh. slightly behind. Yeah. yeah. I know that's because, you know, they're not eating whole pieces of food and grown up food. Mm. And so, you know, it's delayed their speech because what it does enable us to do is to use our facial muscles. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. then mm. develops our language, our speech, mm. and that is behind. Pureed food doesn't allow them to do that. Yeah. So what has to change is your approach and your behaviour to okay. it. Yeah. Mm. Out in public. Bit of a disaster yesterday, to say the least. The attitude towards having the four out, I don't think is strong enough with regards to being aware. What you should be feeling is that you've got everything under control and you know that you're able to manage four kids when you're out in yes. public. Because it's about safety and fun when you're out, OK? I haven't seen discipline mm. in the house. We have Aidan throwing big temper tantrums and hitting. We've got the two younger ones that end up copying that behaviour mm. and yet no discipline. I feel like I've given up altogether because there's four of them to discipline. That in itself is massive. Mm. It gave up. Yeah. It takes commitment, yeah. follow through, mm. consistency yeah. as a recipe. That sentence you passed by me yesterday, that work is like a holiday to you, was quite telling for me. But, but that isn't, that's always been the case for me. You know, I've always enjoyed my work. I understand that, because that's what I do. Mm. I understand that yeah. feeling of, you know, mm. when you're at work and you enjoy what you do and you're in there, you know. Mm. But likewise, we want the same feeling when you come home. Yes. It should yeah. be, mm. I'm coming home mm. yeah. and actually, you know what? Mm. I'm blessed. Yeah. Mm. As a couple, you know yeah. the priorities of raising those kids. You need to be able to give the same respect for your own relationship. Mm. You need to put in the same love to your own relationship. The honesty of the situation is that we're we are more <laughs> we're more friends than we are um, partners at the moment in terms of man and wife. We're more friends now. Well, we're kind of like two people two working, people working, looking after children. Yeah, That's what we do. We yeah. do. So our life as that couple we had before mm. has sort of disappeared, mm. and it's it, it's scary that it's disappeared over time. And it's very it, and it's difficult to think how you can get back to that point you were. Spending some time away from the kids that would be really good. <laughs> It's day one of teaching, and Super Nanny comes armed with a new family routine. Manage that? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we can do it. Right, okay, we can do it. It may be hard, but we can do it, right? We can do it, yeah. There's a lot to do, and Super Nanny wants to introduce some boundaries. At nearly five, Ella and Aidan are the perfect age for her naughty step technique. This is what your discipline is going to be. In other words, when you behave naughty, then where you are going, is straight to the naughty step Mama. for five minutes to think about your behaviour. But for Louis and Kieran, Super Nanny wants to use the more flexible naughty spot. Louis and Kieran, they're going to be sitting on the floor, right here in the midst of everything. OK? But for all four children, the discipline principle no is the same. Tantrums. It's not about where you place the kids, mm -hmm. it's about what you say. You do what Mummy says, I'm asking you to come in here. You're not to go upstairs. Soon after Dad leaves for work, Anne is faced with her first big test. Come in. <laughs> That's it, straight to the naughty spot and explain Mom. why he's on there. Kieran, I told you not to go upstairs, OK? No, I you didn't to. listen to me, I told you to come back. Now you stay there for three minutes. And don't move. Right, OK, let's go. That's good. Good voice. Good tone. 
After years of mum being inconsistent, Kieron's not listening. And watch me. And watch. Hand. Just straight back, don't talk to him. Straight away. Hmm. Okay. So he's only just testing what he's seen in the past yes. with your yeah. behaviour because you're setting down new ground. Louis, come back here. Anne is already struggling with one twin on the naughty spot when Louis decides to give her twice the trouble. Okay, so place one over here somewhere and one somewhere else. All right. I asked you not to go. <laughs> Okay, so now is he going to take you seriously? Is he going to take you seriously? No. Okay. I just look at his face and it just makes me laugh. How would he then know what's about to I know, happen? I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Louis! <laughs> sorry, I just can't do it right now. I find it really difficult, <laughs> just little faces laughing at me. I just find them really funny. I'm obviously not, you know, I'm not cross enough right now. Um, otherwise, they, I wouldn't laugh. But that's my point. I don't feel that any parent has to get to a point where they're cross. Yes. And yeah. it shouldn't take you to have to be at boiling point yes. to discipline. Now they're taking the mickey. Now they're running amok with you. So now they're giving you a run for your money because now there's two of them and they both don't take you seriously. So now they can take turns. Will they give in eventually? Will you? <laughs> Do not pinch me. That hurts. Don't do it. Straight back, OK? <laughs> I just find the whole situation so ridiculous. OK? This is the repercussion of the smiling. They need to know you're serious, and the only way they're going to know that is by the repetition. Forty escape attempts, and 30 minutes later, Mum's workout eventually pays off as Louis and Kieron admit defeat. You're placing down some authority. Yes. Which is something you said you wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they could smell it, they could yeah. sense it, it was on your face, yes. yeah. and, and you weren't smiling anymore. Mm. Now, you don't do that again, do you understand? That was naughty behaviour. I felt as if it wasn't going to work because they were just running rings around me, laughing their heads off. So I, w I was pretty amazed that it's possible to get, with two little ones so small, to get them to sit in a spot for, for the three minutes. That amazed me. Good boy! Super Nanny's next challenge is getting the two-and-a-half-year-olds to eat solids. It is very distressing. They're screaming, they're spitting it out. Along with all the other chaos that sometimes goes on at mealtime, I just can't do that. I can't cope with that every day. What we will do is get rid of all the baby stuff. OK. Get rid of the high chairs. Yeah. For Kieran and Louis, advanced booster seats, because the high chairs are going to vanish. Thank you, Georgia. You're welcome. Baby food is now off the menu, and there'll be no more force feeding. OK, I've got some proper cutlery here. Oh, wow. oh, Super Nanny right, wants the younger good. twins sitting round the table with everyone else, using grown-up cutlery. Are you going to try it? No. It's lovely. No. 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 But breaking old habits is not going to be easy. Very good. I'm on to you. You drink that, sweetheart. That's yours. Good boy. <laughs> Ignore what Louis's saying right now. Mm. Yeah. OK, and it's all about praise at how well they're doing so far and some claps. <laughs> praise and encouragement from parents is key to persuading okay, so children to eat. Is he going to do it again? I think Good boy. Oh, my God, and you can do it. I just have some potato. I can't. That's amazing, isn't it? This is a real breakthrough with Kieran. Well done, well done. What a good one. It's the first time he's tried the same food as his parents. Be careful of the play. But Louis is still resisting. Eat up some of your dinner like a good boy. Yeah. Let, let's face it, is, is he ever going to or is not? Yeah, yeah. And if he doesn't, you know, he's not going to whiffer down the plug hole tonight. 
because he didn't have it. He's learning a lesson here and we're breaking those old behaviour patterns with his food. Lou is used to getting his own way, but this time there'll be no baby food or pudding. Okay, that's the end of dinner then. You're not getting anything. Let's go then. That's a shame. But he's going to learn from that, OK? okay. Because all he's doing with you now is a power struggle. Yeah. Come on. Did he bang the door? Did he bang the door? <laughs> <coughs> with four kids to control, it's important that Dad also gets to grips with Super Nanny's discipline technique. Kieran, come on, out of the house now. I want to talk to you. Are you going to come and talk to me? No. <laughs> you want to adopt an authoritative voice, OK? He's not listening to you. He thinks no. it's one big game. He thinks it's a game. He needs yeah. to take you seriously. You didn't come when I asked. You sit there and you wait. You sit quietly. Good voice. Clear. Good tone. Good time. We're on the same page, you're on the same page? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Discipline, yeah. discipline. Kieran will sit on the naughty spot for three minutes. One minute for each year of his age. We'll start again. Okay. He's not in any real distress, he's just he's done he's not. No. You know, you're not being mean. No. You know, you're teaching, you're teaching mm. him. It'll pay off. And they'll get it. Down. Good. He's doing what he's told. Good. Now, are you sorry? Sorry, Daddy. Good. Give me a hug. <laughs> Anne and Steve avoid the inconvenience of bedwetting by keeping their five-year-olds in nappies. We're very busy, we're tired, and we didn't want a lot of hassle at night, so... You know, c'est la vie. Ella and Aidan, five years old, nearly, and still wearing nappies. It's been humiliating them. Tonight, the two of you are going to go to bed this evening without your nappies on. So you can wear big boy pants and you can wear big girl knickers. Yes. Is that good? Yes. yes. It's for the babies now. Yes, yeah, for the babies. You, you big boy. You're a big girl. You don't need nappies. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't really anymore. like nappies anymore. I, I don't, don't need them. them. Yeah, we're just doing it in the toilet. Exactly. That's where we're doing it. <laughs> I heard that the nappy pirates were coming tonight because they want to take the nappies. OK, <laughs> we'll just give them to the pirates and the next morning we'll open yeah. up the treasure chest and we'll see if they left you anything. Yeah! <gasps> Look at this! Like. They look like they've got a nappy hat on. I've got the nappy! Can you open the drawer for me? Yeah, they're Get it. Pirates are going to take the nappies away. Go. Yes! Oh. yes. Oh. They're gone. They're oh. going to go away <laughs> forever <laughs> again. <laughs> What I thought we could do is take the opportunity to get rid of the bottles Ooh. and really, you know, make a whole of saying, right, all the baby stuff out. This is good. The move to cups is well overdue, no. and only Aiden puts up a fight. Ella. Good girl, Ella, good girl. But it's not long before Aiden backs down and drinks up. <laughs> Give us a hug. Give us a hug. Oh. The following morning, it's time to find out if the nappy pirates have left any treasure. You do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where's that for Look, Ellie, you've got wings. You're a fairy. It was lovely having them as babies. Yeah. And then progressing to the next stage. Yes. Is, yeah, selfishly, you quite <laughs> like them as babies, but they've yeah. got to move on, you know, they've got to move on to and grow up and become, yeah. and become little toddlers, all of them. Now that some boundaries have been established in the house, Super Nanny wants to ensure Mum can keep control outside. We've got the younger boys in the stroller and we've got Aidan and Ella here walking, OK? Make sure before we leave that you've very clearly set up expectations for all of the kids. What I want you to do, and you, we're going to do this every time we go out, OK? You have to listen to me and do what I ask you. I would like you to stand one either side of me, OK? And hold on to the buggy. And you're not... You must not run off, OK? Because it's dangerous. 
good okay. boy. So Thank there you. There will be times when they can run off yes. and they can have fun, but whilst that we're here to together, them holding on. No, that's fine. Okay. Just listening, taking direction, mm. doing as they're told. Mm. Brilliant, Anne. Okay. We should get them used to walking. It's good exercise. Super Nanny and Steve keep their distance as Mum needs to be able to cope okay. alone. What I want you to do. Listen, you've got to listen to me, Ella, and I want you... You don't have to hold on to the buggy, but you've got to stay beside it, OK? I don't want you running off, cos there's loads of people around here, so I don't want to lose you, OK? Very good. Aidan, don't run off. Aidan, stop! Good boy. That is good. This is good. This is great. Set little margins yeah. for him. Yeah. You can, no, have, you can have a little run, Ella, but I want you to stop by that barrier, OK, and wait for me. In the past, Anne and Steve have avoided family trips out for fear of losing control. Super Nanny is now confident they can cope with a boat trip up the Thames. The sun's shining. You're losing no, confidence, no, the pair of you, is, and making them feel like you have things in control. It's all been plain sailing. That is until Aidan decides he's had enough walking for one day. Listen. No, you're not sitting on the front, no. We're nearly at the car. You don't have to walk very far. Come on. Just hold on to the buggy. Come on. Pick him up. Come on. Pick him up. OK. This is what's going to happen. When we get back, you are going to end up sitting on the naughty step. Now, don't start this nonsense. You're, that's not an option. No sitting on the buggy, OK? This happens every day when I'm taking him home from school. Use your legs and walk to the car. <laughs> I know you're tired, darling, but we have to walk to the car. We'll all go now. Up we get. <laughs> Up we get, Aidan. It's a battle of wills, and Super Nanny will not be defeated. Right, then, you know what? Let's hold this. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so, are we going to sit here and wait until you're ready, then? You stay sitting. You will not be sitting on that buggy because there is no room. No. He's used to just being able to say, I want to be able to get a lift on the, on the stroller and not even do any walking whatsoever. It's making him lazy. Mm. He's got legs. But he needs to know that the buggy's not an option. You can't go on the buggy. You've got to walk with me. It takes Aidan 20 minutes to back down and realise there will be no more buggy rides. Good job, Froggy Frog. Listen, we don't care if he's fleet frogging yes. or doing buck the kangaroo no. right now. As long as he's getting to the car, yes. that's what all that matters. Yeah. We would be there. Look, it's nothing wrong with his feet, look. No. He's not a tired boy. It's all about no, control. Yeah. But it's not only Aidan's tantrums that Super Nanny wants to conquer. Louis and Kieran are trying Louis. pasta for the first time. Good boy, Kieran. Well done. Come on, Louis. No, no, dinner. Louis's still on strike, so Super Nanny wants to use dessert as a visual incentive. It's not every... I don't want to say that every day we want to be putting down ice cream and chocolate and that kind of no, stuff, because no, we want no. healthy options of dessert. Yes. But what I think would be good is to put it in a bowl and put it in front of him. I've got me. one for you. Yes, you can have it, Louis, but you've got to eat that first, no. OK? That first, all of it. Then you can have your ice cream and chocolate. Right, don't okay. talk about it anymore now. You've said what it is. Look at that. <gasps> Have you eaten all of yours? Fantastic. For his reward, Kieran delves into his ice cream. Louis, Louis, pasta first, then ice cream. OK? Oh, yeah, you get it. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, yum, yum. That's lovely. You have your dinner first, then after you have your ice cream and chocolate, Louis. Kieran, you've done really well. Louis's going to eat his pasta first, aren't you, Louis? If you don't eat your pasta, no ice cream for Louis. Yeah, you show us. Yeah, you show us, Louis. Good boy. Good boy, Louis. Well done. Well done. Good boy, Louis. You're having some more. Well done. I was really pleased with myself that I'd managed to, you know, achieve that with Louis and Kieran. I thought that was pretty amazing. <laughs> well done, Louis. You finished all your pasta. Good boy. Let's give him a clap. All right, Louis. 
eat your dinner, get your ice cream. Eat dinner, get ice cream. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Back to the table with your food, please. Come on. The most frustrating thing about having four children that all are so young is they don't give you any space. So Annie and I have no time together. If he's been I'm just fed up of listening to all the Well, ignore it. We'll put them down and we just ignore it. And then it's fine, that's over with. I, I take things out on Steve a lot of the time. I I just do. And that's why I think, you know, it's really had a bad effect on our marriage. It's not just me, but, you know, we're in this situation where it's so difficult to deal with and you take it out on each other, you just can't help yourself. Just ignore it then and it's over with. Let's not forget, these guys have got two sets of twins. They've got their hands full, seriously. It's a lot of hard work, so for them just to be able to take time out together as a couple has got to be a priority for them. What I'm going to do is to babysit for you this Thank afternoon. You. Thank you. And, um, there's a nice little note there oh. of where you're going to oh, meet fantastic. Steve and have lunch with him today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait. This is the first time Steve and Anne have had lunch alone in nearly Hi. three years. Hiya. Hello. Please kiss. Oh. How are you doing? Hello. On your marks. It's just so lovely, wasn't it, to get to out. out of the house on just the two of us? Okay. <laughs> it was a treat. Right. Yeah, and, and, and just have a really nice chat on our own without all, yeah. all the kids. Yeah. It was, yeah, it yeah. was perfect. I just absolutely loved it. Stop it, John! Stop pulling hair! Stop! Stop! Stop. That's not nice! Over the next couple of days, Anne continues to be tested. Louie, I want you to come down the stairs, please. Wait. Yes, hey, hold on a minute. No, but with no, Super Nanny's no, guidance, no, she remains no, strong no, and consistent. Louis. Open the door and come out, please. No. You're going straight onto the naughty spot. No! You do not yeah. kick or push me. Yeah. Now you wait there for three minutes. Yeah. Oh. A fire! A fire? That's, it's like, no. <laughs> You've put discipline in this house. No. It's nearly time for Super Nanny to leave. But before she waves goodbye, they're enjoying the first roast dinner they've eaten together as a family. Number two. Look, Mummy's eating carrot. Mmm. You've done it. I take a little you, bite. Daddy. Good boy. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. Good boy, Louie. I'm really proud of you, Louie. Good boy. Cheers, Daddy. Cheers. They're on the right track and they're moving forward and they're all together as a family, sitting down, having a meal together, which is the first time we've actually seen this. So, you know, for me, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with the progress this family are making at meal times. It's a, it's a far cry from what we had in the beginning with high chairs and baby food and strapping in and, you know, this chaos. Look, this is this is a family meal. I'll see you soon, all right? Yes. So I'll just come see you back very soon. soon. Super Nanny will be back in a week to see how the family have been getting on. But from tomorrow, Steve and Anne will be going it alone. Bye bye, Tallinn. I was skeptical to begin with, but I'm really, really pleased. I think we both are yeah, that we've I, done this. Especially in terms of eating. We're a lot more confident in dealing with the children's bad behaviour. It's just amazing the progress they've made. So it's up to us now. If we, if we persevere, we can do it, can't we? Because we know it works. It's Anne's first day without Super Nanny, and straight away she's put to the test. Kieran, if you don't come and sit down, you will go on the naughty spot. Now you're going to sit there on the naughty spot for three minutes for not listening to me. Okay. Sit down and face the table. How am I supposed to enforce discipline with him if you are making a laughing stock of it? Now sit down. <laughs> Anne is still struggling to take the discipline seriously. Now no one is listening to her and she has to deal with the repercussions. For that, you 
要干一个溜子狗。Sometimes they just won't respond to the things I want them to do. It's just a total fiasco. Sit back down. I felt like we'd done, you know, made big progress with Joe, and we have. And in the end, I won that battle. I just feel like I've gone backwards. Stop that, you two! It's just all too much, really, to deal with. Stand at the side. You can still help me from the side. Come on. It's Anne's first outing since Super Nanny left. Aiden is refusing to hold on to the side of the buggy, resulting in a strop. OK, you haven't listened to me, so you're going to go and sit on the step. Like I said, for five minutes. <laughs> Anne follows through with a naughty step, but then leaves Ella with the buggy out of sight. If we're all going to get to the shop, I need you to do what I'm, I want you to do. OK, come on, let's have a hug. Let's get going. Ella, can you stop, please? Ella, stop! That is really dangerous. What if you pushed it into the road? And there might be a car there. You do not do that, OK? Aidan, I want you to hold on to that and walk with me. So Aidan and Ella pester Mum for a buggy ride. And in the end, she gives in. That's it, Ella. Hop off. Good girl. It's dinner time. A mum and dad are doing well at encouraging Louis to eat. And some cauliflower. Louis really trying. I know. Good boy, yeah. Louis. I think Louis going to get Good a yogurt boy, as well. Good boy, Louis. You're doing really well. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I But then Anne resorts back to treating them as babies by spoon feeding Kieran from her own plate. You can do it. It's lovely. Good boy. Kieran, clap for Kieran. Yay. Kieran's answer. You, oh, well done. You're eating toast It's lovely, Kieran, isn't it? Good boy. Kieran's had another mouthful. It's the same as yours, so you eat your one up. Kieran may be eating, but Mum set herself up. What's more in your mouth? Eat some of yours. I'm feeding Aiden as well, though. You can eat all of Mummy's dinner if you want. It's the first time I've ever seen them both eat. Now, they didn't finish the plate, but that was the first time they'd had lasagna ever. And they, they, yeah, they were, that was really good. The following day, they may be eating, but only from Mum's plate. Eat your own dinner. Mama, I eat Mummy's dinner. Eat my dinner. Yes, that's Mummy's dinner. Can I have one? Eat your dinner. <laughs> Super Nanny's due another visit, and she's determined to put this family back on track. And now she's back to explain where they're going wrong. Good boy. Kieran, clap for Kieran. Yay! Kieran's done. Oh, well done. You're eating with my Alex. He is eating off your plate. Yeah. Mm. It was good that he tried something new yeah. and it was good that he liked it, but it's very good also that he eats off his own plate because yeah. children of Louis and Kieran's age need to learn boundaries. Dinner. See, now we've got the Romans feeding the grapes here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just feel like it's just all too much, really, to deal with. It's, it's crucial that Anne has break. Mm. And the consistency of a couple of hours will go a long, mm. long way. No, I, I, I absolutely accept that. Yeah. That that's I necessary. Think... It's just so difficult to think of a way of doing it. Let's work out today how we can incorporate yeah. consistency mm. with that. Let's go and get a drink. Super Nanny is determined to ensure that Anne gets a regular break. Come on. Right, Steve. Oh, yay! As from oh, now, sure. you're in charge of all four. OK? So that leaves you a bit of time to uh, stress release. Yes. A bit of time for yourself? Yeah. For a couple of hours? A couple of hours. How's swimming grab you? Sounds great. Good. Go get your costume then, off you go. Really? Yeah.
Okay, fantastic. I'm going off then, Steve. I'll see you later. Yeah. See ya. I don't think she really thinks she's going. It's very good for me. I feel wonderful. I feel relaxed. I feel happy, you know. Then it's just great to do something else. It's wonderful. One, two, three. Are you going to help us make a tent or are you just going to break it? Stop it! Soon after Anne leaves, Dad has a sample of what Mum has to deal with every day. You're not being very nice. Come here. Stay there for three minutes. Stay there for three minutes. Well done for following through. It was good. This is the first time Dad has prepared dinner whilst looking after all four children. Now, I'm going to go and check on the dinner, Ella. No, you're not. I've got to, I've got to, because it'll burn. Now, big hug and sorry. Okay. Now, are you going to start playing now? Play nicely. Okay. Now, the naughty spot's over. Super Nanny wants to introduce a technique to help Steve. Okay. Yeah. So that you can do something around the table with all four of them. You can set it all up, see them play nicely, and then walk away. Yeah. OK, yeah. so we play and we walk away, which then enables us to be able to get dinner on the go yeah. whilst they're at the table playing. Yeah. OK? If everything's going all right with dinner, yeah. then you can yeah. come back. Yeah. And sit down with them and play. What shapes do you want? I want to be the funny clown. Do you want to do the funny clown? Yeah. You see how we've just generated a little bit of calm? Yeah, it is quite calm. A little bit of calm. I like being on the line with the kids. It's fine. But what we need to do, as Joe says, is make sure that it happens all the time, every week, one or two times a week. And I, I, I really do think that would make a, a big difference for Annie. Annie's not going to be pleased with my cooking. Lou, are you ready? You ready for your dinner, Louie? Yeah. You are? You are. No. Good boy, Kieran. Good boy, Louie. Good eating. Yeah. Why does this boy go from being spoon-fed two days ago and not wanting anything to actually eating right now by himself. What is it, Steve? Well, I suspect because he, he knew that Annie would do it. So exactly. he, just, he just would hang out until she did it. Exactly. So you have to treat them like you know they can do much better and bigger than yeah. that. And yeah. they show you they can. Dad did really well today and he showed that, you know, he really can take care of all four kids, which allows Mum to be able to take that breather to reduce her levels of stress. Hello. Hi. Dinner's on the table, Annie. But as soon as Mum returns, Kieran's back to refusing his food. You try a little bit? Okay. No! He sat down here before you came home yeah. and started to tuck into the food. Okay. No, okay, so that's an no, absolute no no. Okay. That's what he wants. He wants you to start that old yeah. behaviour again. Yeah. Once Super Nanny's put a stop to spoon feeding, Kieran tucks in all by himself. Just try a kiss. <laughs> mm. Sweet dreams. Super Nanny's work is done, and it's time for her to leave. Listen, take care of yourselves. Take care of your beautiful kids. We will do. And keep just keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jane. Thanks. See you. Bye. 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 There's been a lot of improvement with this house. Fingers crossed, even though every day is going to be challenging for the pair of them, that they continue to stay on the track they're on now because they're doing a fabulous job. One month later, and the Gormley Brickley family are enjoying the benefits of Super Nanny's teaching. Dinner times now, I mean, it's it's improved so much, isn't it? I mean, there's no comparison. It's it's amazing. It's his favourite. He likes he likes lettuce. I didn't think that was possible so quickly. No. I think we miss the bottles yeah. at night more than they do. It I'm was really, very that nice. That is something. Like, I still miss that. I really do. Do you want some? Oh well. Yeah, Celebi. They've got to grow up. <laughs> Things have really imp have improved. I mean, it's just once you get rid of the, the stress of <laughs> of all the bad behaviour, you can get back to sort of the way you were a bit. Mm. You know, that makes a big difference. It cuts out a lot of the stress between us. It makes things a lot better.